What are you doing? Is it ball time? Okay. Good girl. Yes. Hey guys, just wanted to uh, take a little break here. I'm gonna give you a little rundown on the dog packing rig as it sits now. This will be a, a quick overview, and then we'll come back and do more detail in subsequent videos. So here we go. We're just gonna start on the front, front and back. Got the Maxis rubber. These are uh, the Minion DHR2 in 27.5 by 2.8. Pretty burly tire, but it's been great in all the conditions. Sharp rocks, not a problem. Sand has been doing quite well with the width, and surprisingly rolls very well on hard pack. Got a Ren inverted fat bike fork on here. I've been very happy with that. Changed up to uh, steel water bottles. I was afraid that I was gonna puncture one. King titanium cage. We got a wolf tooth B-rad just so I can position them where I needed to. And then some Dr. John barnacles, which are the same, these ones are the same size as the fork, so uh, fit on there very nicely. Stopping power by Shimano over there. This is the Z-Brake. That's our third water bottle there. Got the pinion drive with Gates belt. This thing is awesome. For the amount of kilometers we do and the terrain that we're going through, this thing is uh, just been the perfect device for us. This belt will last a long time, a low maintenance and reliable shifting with the pinion. That shifting happens very easily with the grip shift. Carbon bar, we've got some ergon grips, nice little uh, bar ends there. Uh, just testing out the uh, Hammerhead K2 unit. It's got some pluses and some minuses. Quad lock that holds the phone when I do need it. Got a little bell there from Spur Bells. Uh, custom titanium carver frame. This is my own design based off the uh, Salsa Black Burrow. As you can see, the rack and the mounts are the same as the bike we had previously. Trying out a different bag system. When I've been walking, my legs have been touching the panniers that I had previously. So just trying something a little bit different. So far, I'm liking it. This is tools and spare parts. People ask about that. A stomp pump. So that actually gets um, placed on the ground and then you just step on this thing to uh, pump it like a regular pump. Of course, dog food. So this thing will grow and shrink <laughs> as uh, the weeks go on. I've got some tools in some Ripple bags and then uh, power duties. This is a bit of a, a cluster at the moment, but here we have a, a K-Lite uh, power converter. And so that uh, is working very, very well. Um, very reliable. Um, previous ones I've had before, other companies were not, but this thing is working great. Power from that comes from this Schmidt Sun 28 Dyno Hub in the fat bike size, because that, after all, that's what we have here. And we'll get to that a little bit later on in subsequent videos. People ask a lot about the box for Mira. You can see here, uh, Uline.com uh, is where these things come from. Minimum order is three, so the initial outlay of cash is a bit high, but you could use those at home or sell them to other dog packers. Around the rim is padded the Cordura cover to protect. This is plumbing tubing, um, this insulation there, but a pool noodle would do a very similar thing. Or you could use some more of this closed cell foam. And that's what this is. So these are two pads. There's a smaller one that Mira uses in the tent. And then the larger one is full length. That's what I use in there. Those are easy to store. They don't puncture, unlike foam mats. So I do carry a stove. There's a fuel bottle, 300 milliliters. A little tiny homemade fender. And I think that about covers it. If there's anything else you guys have questions about, feel free to mention in the comments. I will put videos out in more detail on specific items uh, as time goes on, but that's enough for now. We want to get riding. We just took a little break and, and uh, I got ball duty to sort out here. So, you ready? Okay, baby. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you are. Good girl, Mira.